Now we back. It is time for a classic, ladies and gentlemen. We are using a random number generator to turn this player to, to hopefully the GOAT. I mean, I guess there's a chance that he's the worst player of all time, but I'm hoping that we get the GOAT. It is a very simple concept, right? We have a random number generator with the number 50. 50 is the lowest. We'll go on the attribute all the way up to 99. For every single attribute we will generate, this is a test, this is a test. For driving layup, it would have been a 68, which, oh my God, it's exactly 68 already. We do that all the way through. There's three different times throughout the creation where I get to do a reroll. There are certain attributes that I need to be great in order for this player to be great. So I have to manage my rerolls accordingly. The last thing we will do after we've created the player and got all the attributes and stuff is we're going to put him in his best position to succeed. So for whatever reason, we get 99 rebounding on both, then more likely than not, this player would turn into a center. Does that make sense? Cool. This video is brought to you by SeatGeek. Hit the link in the description and use code Kenny10 for 10% off your purchase of tickets. You know the deal. SeatGeek takes tickets from all over the internet and put them in one central location, whether it be a sporting event, comedy, Broadway, concerts, festivals. If you need tickets, SeatGeek is the way. Bulls versus Magic is here. Maybe I want to see Paolo Bencaro give my favorite team 50. You're going to see the arena with a bunch of different dots. The greener the dot, the better the deal. I always keep mine by deal score. And as you can see, we got a couple 10 out of 10s here. So this ticket, 122, row two, is $210. And this is the view you would get once you get the ticket. Maybe you big balling and you want to spend that much money to sit courtside. Or maybe you just want to get in the arena for $29. There are so many great deals. It have just taken me just a few extra clicks to secure those tickets and watch my Chicago Bulls. So it is very, very simple. All you need to do is hit the link in the description. Use code Kenny10 for 10% off your purchase of tickets. Shout out to SeaGeek again for sponsoring another video. Let's get into it. The first official spin for driving layup is worse than, than the Tesseron. All right, only up for here. Post fade. All right, slightly. Okay, uh, post hook. Oh my God. You know, this is not a bad thing though, that we're getting all the low numbers out of the way right now. So once we get to the attributes that matter the most, see, he's got 91 post control, but also he can't hit a hook. He can't hit a fade. It don't matter. Draw foul. 80, oh, 87. Uh-oh. Okay. This is good. This is where things matter the most. These are the most important attributes in the game. Can you score the ball? Shot close. 83. That's a win. That's a win. Mid-range. Not a win. Not a win. Okay, three. Three-point rating. Here we go. It's a 92. Okay, so this is phenomenal. He can't hit a jump shot from within the, the, the line, but boys, he lights out. He Clay Thompson from behind that. Okay, that's great. Can he hit a free throw, though? No. That's the second time we got the exact number than what it was. What are the odds of that? I don't even know. Ball handle. Oh. This is for ball handle, 83. Okay, right now it's starting to look like this player is a guard. He can shoot. He he can't score in the post. He can't hit a layup. He It looks like this player might end up being a guard. Uh, ball handle will be in an 83. Okay, but can he pass? The IQ says, I clicked the button and it stayed the same. So his uh, basketball passing IQ is an 83. The accuracy is an 88. Oh my God, it's like this guy's a guard for sure. He can pass his butt off, 88. Then we get the offensive rebound in numbers, 55. Guard, baby, guard. Standing dunk. This is a guard, 100%. Okay, so now we got the last couple. This is driving dunk, 63. Okay, um, shot IQ is a 71. Okay, passing vision. It don't matter if you got the IQ. Can you see it, though? Can you see it? The answer is yes. Man, we got a young Steve Nash or something. This is going perfectly. And then his hands are awful. That's literally the lowest it can be, 50. Now we got rebounding and a bunch of defensive statistics. Defensive rebounding is going to be an 81. All right, he's a great rebounder. Uh-oh, this dude could average a triple-double. Good rebounder, good passer, can shoot the three ball at least a little bit. Interior defense is not that bad as well. Okay, so he looks like to be a positive defender. This is a really big one. And he is a lockdown perimeter threat. Uh-oh. So we will be putting this player in a draft class, so he will get drafted with Cooper Flag and stuff. Um, block. Is gonna be a 55. You don't need to get you don't need to be a good blocker. And steel will take a 77. Wow, this is going pretty good, man. So now athleticism, speed, speed with ball, vertical, strength, all of this stuff. He is super slow. I think I have to use a reroll. I have to. I can't have a guard with that level of speed. All right, reroll is not that much better. It's nice, but it's not that much better. What a wasted reroll. Okay. Speed with ball, on the other hand, is uh, he's a slow point guard. What is he? 
Andre Miller. Who is the slowest good point guard in history? I don't know. I got to think about it. Uh, vertical is a 97, but he can't dunk. But boy, can he jump. Okay. Strength, also pretty high for a guard. Now he's Mark Jackson. That's pretty good. Stamina, 85. Okay. We'll take that. I was scared that that was going to be really low. Hustle, 81. And agility is really low as well. Oh my God. He's not fast, man. Okay. Durability doesn't matter. We're going to play with no uh, with no injuries. But now we get to the mental aspect. This is where basketball really is up here. Everybody want to dribble, shoot, pass, block. No, this is where you win and lose basketball games. Yes. Okay, pass perception is pretty good. 77. We'll take that. Defensive consistency isn't... Oh, he's going to make all defensive teams. That is so great. He's going to make all defensive teams. Then we get to help um, defensive IQ. Pretty good as well. And then offensive consistency is maybe another place I use. I still got two more respins, by the way. Offensive consistency is pretty low, 100% of respin, and it's not that much better. Oh my God, our respins have been awful, y'all. Okay, so now we get intangibles. That's 84, and potential, give me something great, 85. Wow, okay. I, I usually hit a respin on potential, but 85 potential is pretty dope. I'm not, I'm not chancing that. So, okay, we got one more respin. Where do we spin it at? I'm thinking it has to be like a mid-range jumper. You know, he can be a three-level scorer if we get a good mid-range jump shot. Everything else feels fine. Like, yeah, I would love for him to be able to dunk, but that's not just in the cards right now. Defensively, he's fine. Like, I don't care about any of these numbers being low. Like, a block, that I'm not tripping about that. I can't re-respan on speed. It's only one respan, so speed has to be what it is. I think we go to the mid-range jumper. It can't get much worse than 58, and it goes to a 92. This man's one of the greatest shooters in the class, if not the greatest shooter in the class. Okay, what is his name? I didn't even see his name. Johnny Love. Oh, Johnny Love. Come on, man. What a name. He is called the natural. Right now, they got him as a shooting guard. I'm going to switch him to a point guard shooting guard. He went to Lamar. He was born March 6th, and he's going to be just 19 years old to start of the season. I'm not changing anything about his accessories, even though I hate it. The, the sneakers, the old Jordans, I hate those sneakers, but whatever. Right-handed, right-handed. Um, his peak and his end age is cool. And only thing we have to do is make his minimum potential what it is at 85. And then everything else could stay the same, man. Wow, that's pretty good. Now, what I will do myself is mess around with his tendency so he plays like a guard. Um, oh my, can we, no, he's he's new to everything. No way you about to start my player off with a thousand cold zones. What the heck, 2K? A th that he almost had a full blue chart here. No way. He is neutral. He is a 19-year-old player. His jump shot, Greg Brown and Patrick Williams. That don't like a guard jumper, but if we speed it up a little bit, um, sure. Okay. And then all of this stuff, free throws, go-to shot. That don't really matter. Duncan, okay, cool. Post fade, okay, cool. Dribbling. Austin Reeves, sure, I guess. We do want to change. I'm going to randomize all of these, by the way, but he can't just have normal dribble moves. Ooh, that's... Oh, man, I got no more again. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of weird. Got to get that man a chance, right? I didn't even look to see how tall he was. That's one thing we didn't do. They got him listed 6'7". That feels fake. So let me change it to... What's the average guard point guard? It's like 6'3", right? So 6'3", let's say 200. Let's play very simple, 6'3", 200. Everything else can be the same. One thing I got to make sure is that that three-point shot is high, man. That brother can shoot. He shoot that ball, baby. Yeah, this guy was definitely a guard wing. Standing dunk was really high. Well, since he can't dunk at all, I'm putting all of that at zero. Flashy dunk. Don't even attempt it. Don't even attempt it. Even his layup is a bit high at 44. I mean, <laughs> he's basically a jump shooter, bro. And he can pass, so I'm going to raise that quite a bit, man. He's one of the better passers in the draft class. Don't post up. You're a 6'3 guard. Shot tendency, I will give it about average for a PG. They got players ready. Let's see what this overall is as a point guard. He's a 77. Ah! Uh, <laughs> the good thing is, he's going into a draft class. So we're seeing his career. You feel me? He's not going to be J.J. Marshall or Warren Fletcher. He's going into a draft class. Cool. This is where the video starts, the NBA draft lottery. So let's see exactly what's going on. I'm not looking at no mock drafts. I'm not doing nothing. We just want to see who has what pick. I don't know if he's going before Cooper Flag. It's probably not. Or after Cooper Flag. Let's take a look at this lottery results. We have the Grizzlies, the Jazz, the Wizards, the Trailblazers, the Spurs. I would love for him to get drafted either uh, third, fifth, or sixth. That would be my. That would be the sweet spot. Number two wouldn't be bad either, though. You know him going to team up with the Utah Jazz. But let's see exactly what's going on. They might have been some big trades. Honestly, I couldn't even tell you who's on what team. But 
is straight to the NBA draft where will we see our boy Johnny Love which feels like a name that I know like there's another Johnny Love in the world somewhere that's famous for something I don't even know first overall pick the Memphis Grizzlies select Cooper Flagg no surprise there he still should probably go over Johnny Love second overall pick the Utah Jazz take Dylan Harper no surprise there okay number three the Washington Wizards will take Ace Bailey I do not want him to go to the Blazers, mostly because Scoot Henderson is there. Nothing against the Blazers. It's just like the fit. They don't take him. They take another point guard. The Spurs wouldn't be bad. The Spurs going to be bad. So if I Castle runs a two, this backcourt with Wimby, they don't take him. They take Liam McNeely. A lot of these names are new to me, but I promise myself that this year I will be watching college basketball, so he will not be new to me. I will watch him play next, start next week. Next, we get Johnny Love going to the Brooklyn Nets. Okay, we're not mad at that. We're not mad at that. That's not bad at all. Uh, it's great. Okay, we take that. Next pick is, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to see if there's going to be a big trade and it does not look like it until now. Is it a big trade? 12th overall pick for Kyla Sexton and Jordan Clarkson. Okay. All right, y'all. So we are going to De uh, Detroit. Brooklyn. We'll take that, man. You know, me and, and I'm saying me because we created him. So <laughs> I'm like, no, I can't say me because it's like, I'm like his, his dad in a way. You know, like I'm one of those parents that live through their kid. That's basically what's happening right now. I wasn't good enough to make my NBA dream happen. But my, my boy, Johnny Love, on the other hand, he's here. And not only is he here, he's here to take Dennis Schroeder's minutes. He's here to go win the championship with Cam Thomas and Ben Simmons or whoever they decide to bring onto the team. Um, I don't know who they will bring in because if I'm not mistaken, they got a max spot. Do not resign Ben Simmons. It's not up to me. As you see, I turned everything on automatic. What would that automatic do? I was six days in. Will the Brooklyn Nets get any names? Nets, 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 Nets. No, no. Um, they, they, okay. Um, they brought in two other former first overall picks. Ben Simmons is back on a $13 million for a two year deal. That's not that bad. And then Markel Fultz is back in the league. That's it. Kyrie Irving is sitting here free agency and we have the money to go get him. Jimmy Butler sent in free agency. We have the money to go get him. It's not, oh, 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 we are the, we are in, in the lead. Um, so let's see if they actually get Jimmy. The answer is no, he's still just sitting there. He's still just sitting there. Come on, we got to get somebody, right? Did they get somebody? The answer is no. Wow. Um, okay. Well, okay. Uh, next. So I do have him started with Cam, Zaire Williams, Cam Johnson, and Nicholas Claxton. Off the bench is Noah Clowney, Ben Simmons, Markel Fultz, Dorn Finney-Smith. Uh, the team is still pretty, pretty bad. Uh, first game of the season, us versus Luka, we lose. But in the debut, we see five points. Yeah, okay. Uh, game number two. There's probably gonna be a lot of losses in this man's career until Brooklyn gets it together. Good thing is we should have another max spot this offseason. There we go, 10 points. What was his offensive consistency on again? I don't even remember at this point. Oh, it's pretty low. Yo, we should have used that reroll of offensive consistency. I, I don't remember it being that low. Oh, man, that was like 10 minutes ago, by the way. I don't remember it being that low. He's going to struggle from the field for that reason alone, regardless if he has a high shot, like shot diet, or what am I trying to say? Shot attribute. Um, he's going to shoot poorly from the field in most games because his offensive consistency is really low. And I used that re that last reroll for mid-range jump shooting, and it worked out. It was a 92, but it could have been a lot better. Oh, there's a 20-point game. And look at the shooting splits. Ew, get me out of here. Ew, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. We'll see you at the end of the season. Question is, did we get rookie of the year? Luka gets MVP 36, 11, and 10. Dylan Harper is 19, 6, and 6. We weren't going to beat that. That's fine. You don't have to win rookie of the year in order to be great. And um, that's fine. We're going to make an all-rookie team first team. Yeah, so he was third in rookie of the year. 16, 6, and 6? 16, 7, and 6. Shooting splits are awful. But like... I mean, eventually the field goal percentage should go up. So that three-point percentage being 38 is pretty impressive. Uh, 50% free throw shooter. There's nothing we can really do about that. We spun a number and it wasn't great. And we are in a play-in scenario and we lost it. So we need one more game. Okay, we won the second game. All right, cool. We are in the playoffs in the first season. How? The Brooklyn Nets always end up making a way, it feels like. The lineup has not changed. Like this lineup is not good. It's just not good. Um, other than Cam Johnson not being there, is he off the team? The answer is, it looks like it. And like we traded Cam Johnson. Oh, nope, he's there. He's just coming off the bench. All right, cool. First round, we do have Indy. Same-ish starting lineup. Matherin is starting instead of Smith. Game one, we win. Hmm. Johnny Love 
and Cam Thomas. That backcourt, three steals from the young man. Remember, he's a great defensive player already. I didn't even look to see if he made all defensive team. I'm gonna just assume he didn't because he's 19 years old, but let's, let's just check. This is our rookie team. Another good game. Now again, efficiency is always gonna be a struggle, but like 19, seven and nine with four steals, that's elite. We're up 2-0 on the one seed. They get, a, they get a game and we're up 3-1. We don't blow three ones. Uh, yeah, what a series dominating the one seeded Pacer team. Next round, we got the Toronto Raptors. They have quickly Grady, JJ, Scotty, and Jakob. Okay, same starting lineup as in real life. They swept the Orlando Magic, and they are on the way to sweep us as well. Oh, no, no, no. There's that boy Johnny. I bet it was Johnny. It wasn't Johnny. He got five steals, though. Oh, my God. 3-0 comeback. 3-0 comeback. It was close. Mm. We almost did it. And Johnny took a lot of shots that game. Okay, so you know what? Making the playoffs is one thing. Getting to the second round is another. This team is not very good. I want to say... If our front office is not out there trying to um, make some adjustments by signing a max player or somebody of that caliber, then they are tripping. We have no first round picks, it looks like. That's completely okay. Let's go to free agency. Let's settle some things down. Let's go get a 1A type of dude. Because you got to remember, Johnny is a pass first guy. So he would love to play with um, Kevin Durant again, bring Kevin Durant and Kyrie back, bring Paolo Bencaro or not, not a guard, actually no guards, no guards. Two days into free agency, we got Chris Middleton and Bradley Beal, 33, 34 years old. I feel like we could have used that money in a different way, but who am I? Who am I? Who am I? So the Warriors get Luka, Steph Curry retired, and then De'Aaron Fox is going to the Mavericks and Kyrie Irving went to the Blazers. This league is crazy, um, but we did just sign two real players, even though they're about to regress like crazy. Any other real players? Oh, never mind. Oh no, Bradley Beal is still there. Okay, I thought that he he changed his mind or something. We got some real players. They're gonna regress. We already know, but it's really about Johnny. Johnny jumps five. Man, hopefully his offensive consistency goes up as well. I don't even know. Oh, let's see him zones. Oh man, he sucks. Okay, uh, <laughs> let's see if his offensive consistency. All right, hey. Hey, in two years, he'll be about league average, and then we ain't got to worry about nothing else. Perimeter defense is amazing. Steel is amazing. He might make an all-defensive team this year. Rebounding is amazing. That's a small guard, 6'3", rebounding amazing. Bradley Beal drops three. We gave him $60 million. And Chris Middleton drops one. We gave him $70 million. So keep that in mind. We pay, we paid these dudes, and uh, Bradley Beal is going to be coming off the bench. And uh, Amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. Good job. Starting line for year number two is Love. It is Thompson. Oh, Thomas, it is Middleton, Johnson, and Claxton. Again, Beal off the bench with Derek Whitehead, Noah Clowney, Ben Simmons, and Dink Pate. Um, and then we got some other guys. Oh, we did have a pick, 22nd. Okay, cool. First game, Cleveland Cavaliers is a loss. It's fine. Okay, all right, Mr. Love. Not the greatest shoot tonight again, but like, I'm, I'm see, I'm, I can see some pros progress happening, I think. Um, yeah, what an efficient game on this one. All right. Oh my God, his efficiency is up. All right, we're good. We may not win a single game this season, it look like. Okay, there's one. But like the efficiency is good. New team, same Luca. Um, any awards? The answer is no. Completely okay. All NBA, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn! I, a 84 overall might be the lowest I've ever seen an all NBA player. I can't lie to you. A what? 19, 8, and 7. The shooting splits are so much better this season. Oh, snap. All defensive team has to be there. Has to be. Um, no, Claxton is though for us. So we'll take that, I guess. Wow. Did we make the we had to make the playoffs with an all NBA player? We're back in the plan. All right. Uh, but we were in the plan last year, and guess what we did? We won the first round. This first round, we got the Atlanta Hawks. I can't believe we just made an all NBA team in year number two. Uh, we got Derek Whitehead starting over Chris Middleton now. So the two guys we signed this free agency class don't start. Um and they're just going to get worse. Good season, though, for Chris Middleton. I mean, the averages is down, but, like, look at the, the shooting splits. He's been phenomenal. Okay, shout out to Chris. Uh, first round, Atlanta Hawks, like I said, their team has Drake Powell, Dyson Daniels. I don't know where Trey Young is at, but I'm just assuming that means he's off the team because he's not starting. We lose game one. We lose game two. We lose game three. And we don't get swept. My boys never go out without a fight, man. And we do lose. Overall, in his second playoff berth, all NBA Mr. Love is 17, six and a half, five and a half with the shooting splits a little bit less than normal. Okay, cool. I mean, 
that's pretty good. I would have loved to see Toronto gets a championship. I would have loved to see them if the if the options were to sign Chris Middleton and Bradley Beal or don't. I would have said don't personally because that would have gave us another opportunity to potentially do something. We got the sixth overall pick this year from Philly. That's the James Harden trade. All right, you take that. Is there any studs left at six overall? Let's figure it out. First overall pick is Lynn Weber. Second overall pick would be John Jonathan Potter. Third overall pick is going to be, yep, from Serbia. Fourth overall pick is going to be Andrew Johnson. Cool. Fifth overall pick is going to be traded with Bo Bo for Jalen Duran. All right. And then we get a guy named Wayne Cobb. For what it's worth, Wayne Cobb, not that great. Uh, <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, what, what's this free agency class got for us, man? Because I'm expecting great things. Go a couple days into it and three days in, Brooklyn Nets see Gigi Jackson and Yaka Pirtle. Not bad additions. Not bad additions. And then a 69 overall, Trevor Price. Not bad additions, all things considered. I, we need to get off Chris Middleton's money. Oh, no, Chris Middleton's fine. It's Bradley Beal that we need to get off of. Chris Middleton is still up to an 80. Um, Dink Payne has jumped up five. And Johnny Love is now an 85 overall player. 21 badges. I don't think we gave him badges to start off with. So he's got 21 developed badges. That offensive consistency number is what's going to change him from All-NBA third team to All-NBA first or second team. Let's see if we get there. And the attribute now... It's still below average, but it's going up. It's still below average, but it's going up. We'll take new starter lineup. Is Chris Middleton at the four? Okay. All right, cash money. Uh, I think this is a good team. This is not a great team. Like, I would have loved to have another 90 overall player alongside us, but I don't like that's the thing. Um, to start the year through the first couple games, we're seeing 16, 8, and 7. The shooter splits are back bad. Dang. When Midyama gets his first one, will we see... Johnny ever get an award? All NBA no, second team no, third team yes. He might be a third team merchant. 19, 8, and 7. Shoot his splits continually get better. He shot 45% from three last season on 700 attempts. That's whoo! Hey, flamethrower. Absolute flamethrower of a shooter, man. Three point rating is a 96 now. Yeah, we maybe need to get him to shoot more threes. I don't know. Uh, let's see what the league average shot three point shots. Oh, his three point shot is at 99. But his spot-up shot tendency could be higher. So maybe we change that. Change it to Lee Garrett's in 81. If you're the best shooter... Oh, my God. Let me take a picture of this. We're going to get him all of the league average three-point tendencies. And we're we going to make sure our boy get his 20-point per game season. Because right now, they mess... Ew, I didn't do this. Contested mid-range jump shot is really high. That's why he sucks. That's why his efficiency is so bad. They got my man taking heavy pull-up mid-range jump shots like he's Kevin Durant, but he ain't nearly seven feet. I get to know. And my pull-up, pull-up three is, oh my God, I sold. I sold you, Johnny. I'm taking a picture here too. I sold you, man. We gonna get you right. Next year is your year. Next year is 100% your year. We got you like a bump. Do we make the playoffs or in the play-in team again? Oh my God, we're actually in the playoffs instead of being the play-in team first. We have Desmond Bain. Okay. How did we get Desmond Bain? The answer is, um, I don't know. Oh, we traded for him. Yeah. Okay. What did we trade though? Did we finesse? Because I think the players still on our team are good. How did we get, oh, we, we traded. So we did get off the Chris Middleton, Bradley Beal money and traded for Larry Marketing, then flip Larry Marketing like two months later for Desmond Bain. I, I like both players, but me and Larry Marketing are the same too, but got a cool. Um, so that means what Cam is coming off the bench. Yeah, I guess Cam Thomas is just a, a really, really good six man. Okay, all right. So we got Detroit in the first round. They got Cade, Hugo Gonzalez, Asar Thompson, Bobby Clintman, and Jaron Jackson Jr. is in, in the D. Let's see what's going on. Game one is a win. Game two is a win. I would love to go on a run, bro. I would love to go on a run. Game three is a win. We don't get the sweep, but we get out of there. And in the first round of the playoffs, 29 and seven, the split 50% from three. Come on. Second round, we get Charlotte, who pull off an upset as a seven seed. Nick Smith Jr., LaMelo Ball, backcourt, Brandon Miller, Tajan Salon, and then that guy who they drafted right before Johnny Love. What's this look like? A loss, low key. That team looks kind of stacked. We lose game, and we win game one. We lose game two. Yep, come on. Fight, boys. 2 2 series. We lose game five, and we get eliminated. The, the, 
the this team, the, the Raptors, have made it to the finals four years in a row. I think they only got two rings, but four years in a row. Um, Bradley Beal retired, so we could have just left his money off. But we did turn it to Desmond Bain, which I see as a win. Do we have any first round picks from other trades? We have a, a New York Knicks first rounder from the Mikael Bridges trade. That's 11th overall. And then I saw another one down there. These draft classes end up being buns anyway, but like 11 and 13. Maybe you should trade those together. Maybe they should trade it together. I don't know. I ain't the GM. I'm just a spectator. I'm a fan of the team. Uh-huh. Let's just get all the way over to the 11th overall pick. I want to see. We have a trade to announce. Yep, there it is. Ninth overall pick for Sadiq Bey. Okay, I don't care about that trade. And will they trade? Oh, we have a trade to announce. Oh, no. We took Tommy Hawkins. And then we got another one at number 13. No, that's not our trade. I don't even know what happened. The Warriors traded for somebody. Then we got Enrique uh, Hernandez. Argentina. Are they good? No, they are not. Ah. Uh, it's a lot of money to be paying to bad rookie scale contracts. Whatever. Whatever. It's not my team. Again, I'm a spectator. I'm waiting for them to make that big splash. And this year, did they do it? I see no Brooklyn Nets up top. No Brooklyn Nets towards the bottom, except for Patrick Williams being on the team. Three years, 42 million. We only got one um, PG on the team, and that's Johnny. They said Johnny going to run all of this by himself. Uh, we got a lot of good shooting guards, man. We got a lot of good shooting guards. And Patrick Williams is like the only power four other than the two rookies. I don't know what's going on. All right, player progression. Let's see if Johnny continues to get better. Yes, he does. Wow, Desmond Bain is going to have to come off the bench because Dink Paint, 23rd overall. He's the second best player on the team. We got three really good shooting guards, bro. Whoa, Gigi Jackson jumps up as well. He averaged 20 last season. We got nothing but guards and wings and... And I guess Wayne Cobb is a real rotational player now. Okay. All right, y'all. Look, we got a chance to do something nasty right after we change the shot tendency of our boy. Because we're going to make sure that he's at least average all around um, when it comes to his shooting. Can't believe I sold him so bad. He could have been average at 20 this whole time. I, I did him petty. All I want is either... This is taking forever to simulate, by the way. All I want is an MVP award or a championship. It's one or the other. Or I mean, I would take both if they both happen. But... You know what I'm saying? All right, new shot Tennessee's new Johnny. Let's see what happens. It's a win in the first game. And, okay. <laughs> All right, let's act like that didn't happen. New shot Tennessee. Yeah, Johnny. Yeah, Johnny. Get your 20 point per game season going, big fella. All right, I love this, man. We should definitely make a consolidation trade or trade a bunch of first round picks in a young player um, to go get a star. Something has to happen, right? The MVP is never going to happen when he's competing with Luka Doncic. But, but... Dame Sar, oh, but we could make some other stuff happen, like make an All-NBA second team finally. Nope. Stir team is still here. Hey, 20 point per game season. We did that part, man. We did that part, and we still got the steal in the half per game. This is perfect. Defensive team? Dude, it's so hard to make a defensive team as a guard. Like, even here, there's only one guard in the entire defensive team, and it's Shea. And he had to average two and a half steals and steals in a block to get there. Defensive team is almost impossible when you're small. We end up being a two seed this season, though. Did they make any changes? Any any big trades? Don't seem like it. We got Josh Hart. We got Josh Hart. Maybe that was a big trade. I don't know. No, we just signed him in free agency. He was just sitting around. And he's averaging three points per game. Beautiful. Starting over Patrick Williams. All right. Um, Gigi Jackson and Dariq Whitehead. Is a, like, we have a team. I think we can win it all, bro. I'm being honest with you. I think we can win it all this season. We got Charlotte. This is a good revenge. We played them last season. Instead of Nick Smith Jr., now they got Devin Carter. All right. That big man down low, I need to watch him in college this year, I guess, because I ain't never heard that name before. Game one, we win, and it is a Mr. Love game. Game two, we lose. It's Lamelo's game. All right. Game three, okay, we lose that one as well. 2-2 two, two series. Come on. Come on. Fight, boys. Fight, boys. We get out of the first round to go against the Miami Heat. Okay. The Heat have J.J. Wood, Bryce Sensabaugh, Josan San on. I'm not sure who that is. He might be a real guy. I have no idea. Jovich and Jalen Duran. No Bam, no Jimmy, no Tyler Hero, no nobody really, except for Jovich. He's a last standing guy. Whole team is different. Casey Wallace is here. Dyson Daniels is here. Nas Reed is there. Gershon Yabuselli is here. James Booknight. All right. James Booknight is back in the league. Game one, we win though. Game two, we win. Game three, we win. And we're in the conference finals to go against the one seeded Orlando Magic. It is Jalen Suggs, Tim Washington. Who is that? I don't know, but he's a stud. He is the second best player on the team behind Paolo Bancaro. They got Franz, Paolo, and then Wendell. They are a better team than us in the regular season. We had the exact same record. Oh, no, 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 man. They're not a better team than us. What am I talking about? We got the depth. They don't. Game one, we win. Game one, we win. That's Desmond Bain, baby. He's coming off the bench. 22 off the bench. And game number one is classic. Game number two, we lose. It's a good team. All right. Game number three, 
Yo, we got a chance. GG Jackson, great game. Uh-huh. Yeah, come on. Come on. 2-1, two, 2-2. One, two, two. Three to us, no game sevens, and we get to the finals. Go against De'Aaron Fox and the Mavericks. It's De'Aaron Fox, Isaiah Evans, Lou Dort, Jeremy Sohan, and Derek Lively the second. I think we win. We have a chance to win this. Come on, Claxton. Be one of the last standing Brooklyn Nets player to get that ring. We lose game one. I'm not sure who Isaiah Evans is from Duke, but godly, he gave us 39 and 10 off the uh, off the first game. Game two, we win though. There's Cam off the bench. Yeah, we, bro, we got a lot of bench production, bro. And um, not to mention Johnny's doing his part. Game two, we win. Game three, come on, Johnny. Johnny's not going to win MVP if we win this. Uh, my boy, my boy, Dink, Pat, 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 Pate. I, listen, whoever he is, stood. You feel me? Um, 32 and nine. Game four is a, okay. Dude, I want to get a game that we can jump into. All right, game, okay, 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 Simcast 6, Simcast 6, this is the one, I don't actually want this one to be a blowout win, and then game 7 be a close one, that's what I'm looking for, and so far, that's the way it's gonna go, we, we're gonna blow them out in game number 6, behind, yes, go Johnny, let's go Johnny, yeah, game 7, you know what, we here, Jordy Fernandez, get, get that line up straight, here we go, game 7, in Brooklyn, for the, all, all the marbles, they are winning, but there's a fight, in this Brooklyn Nets team. And ladies and gentlemen, it's close enough to watch. Boom! This is exactly what we wanted. This is exactly what we wanted. Close enough to jump in to see the game seven unravel. We're gonna get to the middle here and we're gonna look and say, our boy is not having the best game. He's a rebound and an assist away from a triple double if that matters to you. Uh, only thing that matters is the championship, man. Three minutes to go, tie game. It's a lot of game left to watch. Big Jared Allen throw for my boy Dink. Let me look what we'll see what Dink actually looks like in real life. If, if I'm pronouncing his name right too. Um, he don't even have that big of a fro. He was born in 06. Oh my God, I'm old. He's about to be in the NBA and he was born in 06. 06? 06? I was, I watched Dwayne Wade win a championship that year. And he wasn't even, he was just being born. That's, anyway. Um, anyway, oh my God, that just, whoo, whoo. All right, we're good. We're good. Uh, we do see our boy Johnny Love in that corner guarding De'Aaron Fox. Evans with the three. Bang. Two-point possession or two-point lead for the Dallas Mavericks after that one. All right, first time we get to see Johnny Love with the ball being guarded by De'Aaron Fox to see exactly what his tendencies got him doing. He gives it up to Pate, who is going to do what? I don't know, but he got on them D-books. I love them sneakers. There's Johnny coming off the screen. He doesn't have an open look. It's nine seconds to go. He gets a pull-up mid-range jumper. That might be bottoms, and it is. Don't forget, he is a 90-plus uh, uh, mid-range shooter and three-point shooter. He's got both of them in his bag. So coming off the screen, getting that open look, dropping controllers, um, that's that's an easy one for us. All right, now he's got a guard up, and you did not notice. Yes, you did. He's one of the best perimeter defenders in basketball. Uh, he, he, he did give up a bucket, though. Dude, Reebok is signing a lot of people. Huh. Shout out to Reebok. They trying, they trying to do exactly what Puma did back in the day. Not back in the day. Remember Puma had the draft class with DeAndre Aiden and Michael Porter Jr. and they just like signed all of the lottery picks. That's exactly what Reebok is trying to do. They got um, Angel Reese, Modest Buzelis, and they got Paint. Um, so, oh, what a pass! Patrick Williams with the and one pass and Derek Lively has fouled out of this game, y'all. What a pass! Hey, if Patrick Williams did that in real life, I would, I would love him. You don't be doing that in real life, so what that mean to you? <laughs> Uh, anyway, tie game again. Claxton going to the line. And free throw hits every part of the rim, but it is an in, and it is a one-point lead for your Brooklyn Nets. Here we go. Let's see that defense again, Mr. Love. You let De'Aaron Fox did a, get a foul um, last time. Don't let it happen this time. Step back, De'Aaron. He goes back into his motion. Good defense from Nicholas Claxton and from Love. And just like that, we got the lead in the ball. Patrick Williams with it. Give him, give, Please give it to a guard. Thank you. Johnny Love, let's see you create some. Oh, trying to get to the basket. Post up a little bit. Somebody's open. It will be paid. Paid for three. No good. Good look. Light pressure. Shout out to, is that James or James Wiseman that just got that contest? I'm not sure. Somebody got a contest. All right, is this a mismatch? I don't know what your defensive settings look like, but it is a miss. All right, Johnny, let's let's take, a, take us home, baby. Let's go home, man. There's a screen. Claxton, hit him. Pull up. And Johnny Love with... Ice in his veins. Eight points in the fourth quarter. Four-point game for your Brooklyn Nets. 
They are 50 seconds away from being NBA champions. How beautiful was that, by the way? Oh my God, you can't, you can't script it any better. It's like, I made that happen. Our best player, the guy that we're here for, he hits that shot. Come on, man, that's beautiful. That's beautiful, beautiful hoops. All right, cool. We're locked in as we go to the next one. Just get a defensive stop. If you get a stop here, they don't need to foul, but you're in a very good position. We get a blow by from De'Aaron. And again, a help side block this time from Patrick Williams. Patrick Williams gives it up. Gigi Jackson for the dagger. Bang! Just like that, the Brooklyn Nets will be NBA champions. Gigi Jackson, the cojones on him to take that shot when they could have dribbled out, saved some time is crazy. Help side blocks from Patrick Williams and Claxton on previous possessions, and Claxton get another one. He was all defensive player for the majority of this video, and you see why right there. Patrick Williams is trying to put salt in the veins, in the, in the womb, and he gets past De'Aaron, standing dunk. It is a nine-point game. The fans don't look as excited as they should be from about to win the NBA championship, whatever. I watched the Liberty win a championship in that building, and um, they were a lot more excited than y'all are right now. I'll tell you that much. Regardless, a dribble-out situation from G.G. Jackson. I don't know why he gets the pleasure of dribbling it out, but it don't matter. We will get there. Now, the question is, does Johnny get finals MVP? That's the biggest question of them all. Regardless, we do get that ring. Moment of truth. Will we get the finals MVP, Johnny Love? It will be... Johnny Love, 18.7, nine rebounds, 10 assists, two blocks and a steal. I'm sorry, two steals and a block. And just like that, we created. He's not the greatest of all time like we usually could create, but at the age of 23, he has a finals MVP and that's all that matters. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.